Hi everyone, I am Dr. V. Nagarjuna Maturu. I head the Department of uh, Pulmonary Medicine at uh, Yashoda Hospital, Hitech City. Uh, so today I will talk about lung fibrosis or pulmonary fibrosis. So what do we mean by lung fibrosis? So fibrosis in general means a part of the body uh, which is permanently scarred. Mm. This can happen in any organ. If it happens in the lungs, it is called as the lung fibrosis or pulmonary fibrosis. So why is it important? Because by definition, fibrosis means a irreversible damage. So which means if a part of the lung gets fibrosed, it is damaged forever. There is nothing which can reverse fibrosis as of today. That is the reason why we are very much concerned if there is lung fibrosis. Uh, so the another the second thing is what percentage of the lung if involved is harmful if there is fibrosis of a very small part of the lung then it is not a problem but if the fibrosis involves a large part of the lung for example if it involves more than 20 percent more than 30 percent then that becomes a problem why because if that part of the lung is not working then the breathing becomes difficult and the bodies the, the oxygen levels in the blood starts falling down normally the lung is a very soft organ so normally it is very soft like a sponge it opens and closes as we breathe in and breathe out so when it is fibrosed it becomes very hard it becomes very hard it doesn't easily move and the work of breathing will increase and it also that part of the lung does not help in sending oxygen to the blood so it is also important to to understand what part of what percentage of the lung is affected by fibrosis uh, so what diseases cause lung fibrosis this is very important so broadly speaking there are two one is after a major infection or any major injury to the lung suppose a person develops severe tuberculosis or if a person develops severe COVID coronavirus or severe influenza. So in a small subset of them, when the infection heals, there is a scar. So when the infection heals, you can get some amount of lung fibrosis. If the infection affects a large part of the lung, in some people when it heals, it heals with fibrosis and a large part of the lung can get affected. So this is one group of fibrosis, but this group of fibrosis will not progress. The second group of diseases which cause fibrosis is ILD, interstitial lung diseases. This is a more dangerous form of lung fibrosis. So in this, the disease itself will cause fibrosis. So the disease itself will cause fibrosis. They're called as fibrosing lung diseases. And the problem with these diseases is that it will progress. So every year, the percentage of fibrosis will keep on increasing and eventually the person will actually die or would require a lung transplantation. So broadly two groups of diseases. One is after an infection. Second is a ILD or fibrosing lung diseases called as interstitial lung disease. These are the two causes of lung fibrosis. Now last thing is how can you prevent and how can you treat? So here treatment is very difficult because there is nothing which can cure, which can reverse fibrosis. So only thing you can do is to prevent lung fibrosis. So how can you prevent lung fibrosis is to diagnose diseases early. So if there is an infection, you diagnose it early before it becomes severe, you treat it early so that the lung fibrosis doesn't set in. Similarly for ILD, if you diagnose the ILDs early, and treat them correctly then the fibrosis will be prevented so for as far as fibrosis is concerned it is prevention and not cure we have to prevent lung fibrosis we cannot treat lung fibrosis so this is in brief about lung fibrosis